Hey, this is YBR with Beware Demo. This is a game quite a few of you guys requested, so I decided to go ahead and try it out. And all I really know about it is the information I got from the comments you left convincing me to try out the game. And also, if you hit the play button multiple times in the menu, it breaks the game. You hit it once and just wait. The game's loading even though it doesn't look like it. Okay, so we start in what appears to be like a trailer park, and right off the bat, I'm noticing something a little bit interesting with the camera. It only rotates to that limit, so you can't look directly behind you. You only can rotate your head like a normal human being. So the controls for this, I'm going to see. Does it have any controller support? No, I'm clicking buttons on the controller, nothing's happening. Wait, wait. I can turn on the headlights with the controller, but I can't seem to actually drive with it. That's kind of funny. Yeah, no other button on the controller does anything. Although I did see, like, movement on the tachometer for a second. That was strange. Yeah, like, the tachometer can jiggle. I don't know what actually is causing that as I just bash buttons. Uh, anyways, we gotta use the keyboard. So we have the arrow keys and spacebar for e-brake. And then I think it was right control for the headlights, which... Does that actually make visibility worse? You know, I think I have better visibility without the headlights. I don't know why. Maybe it's just... Uh, the area we're at or something, but that's weird. I can't see nothing with the headlights on, it feels like. With them off, it's dark, but I can at least see what's going on. Like, I can see the road is ending right here, so I guess we gotta go to the left. We got lights around, but they're all off. Like, there's a light, but it's off. There's another light, but it's off. All these trailers around here, all the lights in them is off. Just no lights anywhere. I don't even know what exactly is making it somewhat visible here, period. Building over here, what's this? Whoa! Oh, we crashed. <laughs> I didn't exactly see that barrier in time. I just saw the building. What is this about? I have no clue. Got like a uh, kind of abandoned restaurant of sorts. Like there's tables with umbrellas that are torn to bits. Oh wait, we can actually see inside of it a little bit. Hold up. Let's kind of maneuver the car into position here. Yeah, it's like an old abandoned uh, restaurant of sorts. It looks like ice cream or something right there, kind of. Like I know it looks like an arrow, but it also looks like ice cream cone, doesn't it? All right, well, uh, is there anything else around here? I see a broken down car. That's, uh, that's a car. Yep, I don't know. I guess this is kind of like a dead end, though. So maybe we'll go back to where we came. Right. Which way did we come from? It's kind of hard to keep your bearings when you can't see too well. That is one thing. If you're watching this video, you may want to up the brightness of whatever you're watching it on. Me, though, I always keep the brightness of whatever game I'm playing at what it is by default. But there's another alternative video in the description where everything has been brightened up a little bit so it's a little bit easier to see. You can go and watch that one if you want, but I'd like to make it where the videos I upload are as close a representation as possible to what I'm actually seeing. So if I drive by something really obviously I should have been paying attention to, and you can only see it in the brightened video, you'll know why I missed it because you can't see it in the dark normal video. And I feel kind of scared driving this fast though with not that great of visibility. It's like I don't know if I should be going as fast as I am. I don't even know how fast I'm actually going because I can't read the speedometer unless I turn on the headlights. Like I said, the headlights seem like it makes things look worse. Is that like a light up there? Yeah, okay, that's different. We got some lights up here. All right, oh, it looks like it's like a dam or something. We, I see like water and stuff. Okay, that's interesting. The lights are really, really bright. It goes from really dark to really bright just like that. Oh, look, you can see there's somebody in there. Wait, hold on. See, like you see, there they are. They're running. <laughs> Weird. That guy looked funny looking. I don't know. It's just his body. It looked all wacky out of proportion or something. That was weird. Anyways, go ahead and. Ooh. What is this? What is this? You want to go, son? You want to go? You know, I am really bad at horror games because, uh. Yeah, take it. <laughs> Where are your minions, dude? That looks like that dude from Minions. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Oh, I got him good that time. Did my car get damaged? I think it does. I probably shouldn't be bashing into them. <laughs> I have them in the mirror, though. They straight up look like the dudes from Minions. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Like, I don't know if I'm the. I don't know if I just have a weird brain to think that, and they're actually supposed to be intimidating. But I just see them and I laugh, and it makes me not fear crashing into them more. Like, I will crash into them all day without a fear. Is there damage though? I can't tell. I can't remember if my car was like that before. So it's supposed to be spooky and we're supposed to be running away, but... Again, I want to go and fight them. Like, you ever see those YouTube videos where somebody gets scared 
and they punch the person who scared them right in the face. Yeah, I've done that twice in real life. I, I, I don't have a real flight response, it seems like. I have a fight and fight response. I don't know why that is. But yeah, I, I have done that twice and it's kind of embarrassing to admit. Oh, what's that? There's a light up here. Hey, yo! Whoa! Hey! I'm trying to save this crazy lady from you guys. What are they doing out here, man? Well, I can't save the crazy lady. Crazy lady, you're on your own! I'm just driving through the mud now. I got all disoriented. I don't know where the heck I'm going. There's a road. All right, we're fine. I found a road. This, wait, this isn't a road. This is a river. We're driving in the river. Excellent. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Well, I uh, lost the people chasing me by driving in the river, so that's a positive, I guess. Got to slow it down, though. We got some trees here. Maybe I get a little bit vis better visibility right here going through the trees with the lights on. It's hard to tell. All right, here's a road again. Oh, look, there's that dude again. What's up, dude? Bye. Bye, loser. You gotta do a 180, so I got some time to go and check out that person. I think they were somewhere over here, weren't they? Yeah, okay, hey. What you doing? Oh, they look kind of creepy, don't they? They look like a crazy person. They are just straight up crazy. All right, there's that car coming up on me. I don't know what's up with them. They're, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna let them do whatever they want, and I'm gonna pretend I don't even see them, because they... They kind of creep me out just a little bit. So that's the creepiest thing, is the uh, innocent person doesn't seem to do anything. Creepy. People in a car trying to murder you? I giggle. YBR, what's wrong with you? I, I don't know. This is a good strategy to lose them, isn't it? Here's the, here's the extra strategy, though. So you go that way, right? And then they're gonna, they're gonna try to block you off going that way. But then you swap it on them! And you go back the way you came, and then, I don't know. Is it working? Maybe. Let's see. Back onto the road. Ow. Mashing into things. Well, I don't see their car anymore, so that's a positive. Turn the lights off. There, and I can actually tell where their car is a little bit easier. The lights are not very good. I have not used the e-brake either because, like, the control setup on this. Okay, you got the arrow keys with my left hand and then the mouse with my right hand so I could look around. But it's hard to go from arrow keys to space bar and also steer at the same time unless I was to use my right hand on it. Like, it's not exactly set up right for that, it feels like. Maybe I misread the controls. Maybe it wasn't space bar that was e-brake. No, space bar is definitely e-brake. I just tried it right there. And it looks like I've lost them. I don't see anybody behind me right now. We're just cruising along, basically. No idea where I'm going, but I'm going away from them. I don't know how fast they can actually drive. Like, can you just drive fast enough where they'll never catch you? Because I feel like I'm driving pretty fast through this area. Like, I feel like I'm driving too fast, even. I'm going to slow this down a little bit. All right, which way do we go? Which way do we go? Uh, let's go left, I guess. I don't really know which way to go in this situation. Also, I think there's like an interact button, like you could click things. Can I like click anything on the interior? Oh, oh, okay. So I'm playing this game in uh, windowed mode. And when you your mouse isn't inside the window and you click, it just clicks outside of it and it pauses the game. So you got to watch for your mouse cursor going outside if you play in windowed mode like me. YBR, why do you play in windowed mode? So I can see other things on my other monitors easier. Like if I want to edit a video while I record it, which I do quite frequently. This one I'm not really going to be able to, I don't think, because uh, this is like almost roguelike-ish where you play it one time and, well, you lose, you got to restart, so you can't really do much editing on it, it looks like. At least that's what it sounds like, because uh, I haven't seen any sort of save function or anything like that. I also haven't seen the car who's apparently chasing me in a while either, so got to win that. Oh, look! Is that them? Is that them or is that just another car? Well, that's them because they're turning around for me. How in the world did this happen? Got him! Where are your minions? I kidnapped their minions, that's why they're after me. He's like, give me back my little tic-tac mans! Uh-oh. Okay, we're going backwards. Into the river again. <laughs> and they are trying to get me. Can I just run them over? Like, well, I'm basically running them over. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't do anything, I guess. Then they just smack their face in my car like, Oh, give me back my minion! I don't know what that dude sounds like. Like, I've never actually seen the, the movie. I've just seen, like, pictures of it. And oh my goodness, why does he look like that? And why is that all I can think of? That is so bad. All right, I gotta find a road again, I guess. I know if I follow this along for a while, I should get to a road? Or is this a different water area? Hey, what's that? I see, uh, 
Some lights up there. That's different. Okay, what is this? Really bright. I have no clue. It's like maybe some illegal growing operation. Uh oh. I'm a little stuck. I'm not a little stuck. I'm very stuck. Huh. Well, um. This is unfortunate. I don't think there's any like reset button for the vehicle or anything like that. You also notice when you steer left and right, the camera moves. It's kind of kind of nifty. And something weird happens in that area over there when you were moving the camera. I don't know if you saw that to the right. Like, I don't know, just something happens. Yeah, I am actually completely stuck right here. The car who was chasing me, they're gone, so I don't know what happened to them. So here's what I'm going to do. Wait, wait, wait. I saw it move for a second. Hold up. Keep backing out then. It did move, right? Maybe it didn't. Okay, maybe I have a little bit of a plan. Like, it looks like it moves for just a second when I click the button and then I let go. So I'm going to just keep doing this forever and I'll be back if it gets out of here. There we go. We got it. We got it. We're free. Excellent. So what is this place about? Oh, no. I'm stuck again. Are you serious? Well, we're going to just inch forward to the dry and I'll be back once again when that happens. Freed, freed, freed! And I decided to go backwards because I thought it might be a little bit more traction or something. Seemed like I wasn't moving when I was going forward, but I still can move going backwards. So we gotta keep momentum through here and just get out of the water. I guess I never stopped in the river before. So there we go. We're free from that. And we should be good to drive. And did I just see a light over there from their car? I thought I saw something. That was weird. Well, it's nice and bright over here. This is kind of an interesting area. I don't know exactly what's going on with it, but... I don't know. It's weird. There's all kinds of lights and stuff. I right, gotta floor it through the mud. Make sure I don't get stuck. Also, don't crash into any trees. That right, we're good. What are those lights? Oh, dude, those lights are skulls. Oh, that's weird. All right. Um, I don't really know what else to do here, though. Seems like I kind of came up from a dead end, and I can go this way. But I thought I saw lights from a car in that direction. It's kind of sketchy to go that way. But I don't really know of any other direction I can go, so let's just go, I guess. This barely even looks like a road that we're driving on right now. This thing is bad. Maybe I just saw one of the lights from one of the skulls. Yeah, that's way better than lights from a car, right? Okay. Back to a road. Now, there is a light over there. Yeah, I see their car. How about we uh, do a little bit of a lose them maneuver and go through some trees. I don't think they can travel through the trees, it seems like. Ow, and neither can I, because I crash into things. Okay. That should hopefully be good. Is that a road? Yep. Perfect. All right. So they are, who knows where. I don't think they'll be able to catch me for a while. I have freedom now to do just about whatever I want. Which means more exploring, I guess. I don't know what else to do, really, besides just keep exploring. I feel like this is a pretty big map, and there's probably a lot of things to find. I just gotta find them. Right now, though, I don't see nothing. Oh, wait, is that the light? Is that the lady, the crazy lady? Hey, crazy lady. Still being crazy? Is that a dude or a lady? I don't even know. I think it's a lady, like, based on the clothes. Yeah, they, they are the freakiest part about this game. I don't know what's up with them. They're just standing there waving a light like some lunatic. Well, let's see. I came from straight there, so we go to the left here. That'll give me some weird different, I think. I really have no idea how big this map is. And it's only the demo, too, so... Like, how big is the final game going to be? I really don't know. It's going to be interesting to see when this game actually comes out, how it differs from the demo. At least I would think it would be. I actually have no idea when the full game is planned to be released or where it's going to be released or anything like that. The demo I'm playing right now, I found it by doing a lot of different searches to actually find it. Because if you put like, beware game into the search, you have things from 1992 that says, beware of doom turning your children into Satanists. But the link I found was from NDDB, if I remember correctly. Oh, in the ditch. Get out of the ditch. Oh, that was bad. Bad driving right there. There's no trees around. That's kind of weird. Like, 
There used to be all kinds of trees, now there's nothing. It feels like... Oh wait, there are some trees. I was gonna say, it feels like I kinda went outside the borders of the map, but if I see trees, I feel like I'm in the okay area. As long as there are trees, we're fine. Is that a light or something? Nah, I don't think so. That's something over there, but I think I'm just imagining things. I'm looking for things because I want there to be things. Because when I just see nothingness, it's kind of eerie. Like, I don't know where I'm going, and I don't even know if I'm actually going anywhere besides driving in circles because I have so little points of reference. I, I legit could just be driving in circles, and I don't know if I would even notice. Uh, that's just water. I don't want to go that way. I'm going to stick along the dirt road for as long as I possibly can. Okay, I don't remember having trees on my right side, so I don't think I'm going in circles. But again, we just have open field right here. Can't really tell where I'm going or where I've been. Whoa! Okay, oh, into the mud. Nope, can't slow down, can't slow down. Can't slow down, gotta get to the road. We'll get stuck. I wanna get stuck in the mud. Alright, we're good. Wait, we're good. Alright, cool. So this is definitely different, though, because I haven't flown off the road before. So we're making progress to somewhere, wherever that may be. Is that something up there over to the rightish? Yeah, maybe I see something. I guess not. I thought maybe those fields or, or those rocks over there were something because they had a slightly different color to them. Just the angle I was coming at it made them look different, I guess. Hey, there's electricity lines. I don't think I've seen those before. I mean, we're going somewhere. I just don't know where that somewhere is. A lot of electricity lines over there. Or are those trees? No, those are trees. Hard to tell. It's so dark. Nope. Falling off the road again. Oh, there's a building. Here's a paved road, too. Okay. What's up with this building? What is this? Oh, it's the same ice cream shop thing we saw before. Nothing too interesting there. Uh, so this is the... Firmest road I've seen, I think. Everything else has been kind of like a dirt road. This one's actually paved. That's pretty nice. I see more electricity stuff over to the left. I guess? I can't exactly tell. Or maybe they're like outposts, maybe. I don't feel like driving off the road through the mud right there to look at them, though. It's too risky. Whatever in the world they actually are, though. There are a ton of them. They just seem to go on forever. Just like the trees and just like this road. Everything here just looks like it goes on forever because your visibility is so poor and there's the exact same repeating scenery. It's almost non-Euclidean geometry-ish. Okay, I feel like I'm going way too fast. Like, I feel super confident because we're on a paved road, but that that's scary fast. I could have some big disaster happen pretty easily, I'm pretty sure. I just noticed, actually, the music has stopped, huh? I don't know when it stopped, but it has stopped. I don't know if that means the car chasing me has given up or what. But yeah, I, I don't care about them anymore. I'm busy exploring the area, seeing what's around. So there's another electricity pole. It has a sign on it. Probably says warning, don't climb this thing. You can tell that. It's kind of neat that you can see a little detail like that. Again, just driving into nothingness for seemingly ever. Oh wait, what's up there? Oh, it's on! It's on! <laughs> <laughs> I think we all died there. So in the end, is that a victory? Because I killed them if I died in the crash. I'm not going to play a chicken, I guess. Um. Okay, well, I guess that'll do it for this video. If you guys would be interested in seeing me mess around with this more, I could because it seems like there's still more area to explore. So do leave a comment if you're interested. Otherwise, until next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.